Google has a success rate of about 1% for the products that they bring to the market. That means that around 99 times out of 100, the things that they've tried don't work. They failed, so they stopped doing them. Can you imagine how much it costs for their development teams to create and test and launch these sure things? And then they don't work. But they don't stop trying, and neither should you. Don't stop what you're already doing, but start taking your first steps. And I'm talking about those calculated risks, which will add to what you already have. Like they say, Rome wasn't built in a day, and neither is any sustainable business. Unless you already have the funds to grow your business, you'll need to keep doing what you're already doing and build your success incrementally. It really is the tortoise and the hare. I've developed a set of instructions to help you with this incremental build. Things that you can do one at a time, so that it doesn't seem so overwhelming. This system is what we use to maintain a seven-figure income. Failure is not a bad thing. Imagine there are several gifts on a table. Inside one of them is a prize called success. You can only choose one at a time. So, as you're unwrapping the gift you chose, you find that there's several layers of wrapping paper. You don't know how many, and each one that doesn't reveal the prize is a failure. But you know that the prize is under one of them, so you keep peeling off layer after layer, or failure after failure, and each time you peel off a layer, it costs you money. Some people get the prize straight away after peeling off one layer. That's called life. Some people win, some people lose. Some of the ones that lose never go back to the table and choose another gift. They'll walk away and say, oh well, I tried. And they're right, they did try, but only once. Yes, it costs money, but money always comes back. Opportunity and time never do. Never. Google has killed off 149 products in its 21 year history. Now when you think about Google, you think of a search engine, maps and possibly Gmail. I know there's plenty more, but they're the few that spring to mind. So more than 20 years for a scorecard of 3 out of 149. How would you like that on your school report? The point is they don't stop trying. It's that kind of thinking which has led to their spectacular success. Failure can be your friend. Because when you try something and fail, you learn what not to do next time. A lot of people see opportunities as scams. Thanks, Internet. I know there's been plenty and we've all been affected by them. I had someone working for me once who clicked on a link in an email, thinking it was a resume, and the result was a crypto locker virus that cost me thousands of dollars to get fixed. We ground to a halt. We couldn't access our customers, we didn't know who was coming in that day and all of our financial records were locked up. It was very scary. I didn't shut my business down when that happened. I got up, dusted myself off and carried on. I learnt what not to do next time. I created a process for it and now all of my staff know what to do when they see something like this again. A lot of people are unwilling to deal with stressful situations like this and if they get hit once, then they think everything's a scam. And that kind of thinking will keep them exactly where they are for the rest of their lives. They won't take those calculated risks and make those incremental changes because they're afraid it mightn't work. If you don't see that failure can be your friend, you'll never grow. And if you think that all the good opportunities are already gone, that they've already been taken, then you're right. They are gone. For you. But not for others. If they didn't do what had already been done, Google and Facebook wouldn't exist. And just on that point, Google was the 17th search engine on the market, not the first. So why would they think that's a good idea if it had already been done? They saw an opportunity to be different and started trying and failing, which ultimately led to their spectacular success. We make money from photography because we know how to. We've learnt from the failures, and I'm sure there'll be plenty more, but if we hadn't started, we never would have known. Failure can be your friend. So go out there and try something new. The instruction book is at www.makemoneyfromphotography.com.au. So check it out and make sure you subscribe to this channel and ring the bell to stay up to date with what's going on. See ya.